So around six months ago, I made a video and it was my first video back on the channel. And I'd like to say like a year of, you know, just waiting to upload videos on this channel. And that was my current state of my Lego Star Wars seal collection, my investment sets or whatever. So today's video, I thought it was proper to do a, an update as I've got a brand new set up here with all my sealed sets. And I'm gonna show you guys my investment collection or whatever you want to call it, my portfolio as like you would say stocks, but instead it's uh, Lego sets. So yeah, obviously I have this brand new setup. I still have sealed sets out in my Lego room, but I'm going to show you guys everything from the top of the shelf down around in my tubs, everything of my investment set. So stay tuned. We're going to get right into it. So I hope the angle is like, okay, here, um, I am like six foot tall, so it's hard to get my, uh, body in the shot here with such like short distance, but I'm going to show you guys just the top first, uh, show you work my way down and, uh, we're going to do this first and then we'll go into the room. So First off up here, we have a couple sets. Um, I've picked up a lot of sealed stuff recently. Actually, like, I guess you call it diversifying your collection. Um, I've been selling a lot of my sealed stuff, uh, you know, that I was trying to collect every Lego Star Wars set seal. And instead, I have been uh, just buying clearance and, you know, looking to make, make the most money on my sets. So right off the top here, we got a bunch of stuff. So we got some Darth Vader meditation chambers. Pick those up because they're on clearance. Got this bad boy for $15, really good pickup. Uh, we have a Maz Eisley Cantina in here, Kylo Ren Shuttle, the Razor Crest. Over on the left here, we have a Slave One, the 20th anniversary edition, very nice set. We have the Clone Turbo Tank, and we also have the Tantive Four back there, the 20th anniversary one. Over on your right here, we have uh, the 10th anniversary Tantive Four. We have the Imperial AT Holler. We also have Darth Vader's um, castle and we also have the Batman 1989 set. I hope you guys can see that there. This set I feel is going to go up a lot uh, with the new Flash movie coming out with uh, 1989 Batman actually being in that. So that will make a big difference to those sets. Now actually in the back on these sets, um, I will show you guys a video of this. Uh, we have the First Order Star Destroyer. We also have the Millennium Falcon, the 2019 version and the brand or the newest ad at the 2020th. And then on the left side here, we have uh, the well, Battle of Endor, of course. We also have the Mon Calamari Home one, the uh, Imperial Command Shuttle, the new one from the Mandalorian, and the 2016 Millennium Falcon. And we'll work our way down and across here. Uh, we'll start over on the left here, and I'll cover like this little side table and a whole different thing. But we have the Bestman Duel here, uh, the 10th anniversary Echo Base, one of my first LEGO Star Wars set, so I had to get that sealed. Then the LEGO Star Wars set I want the most in my collection since I was a kid was the Jedi Starfighter and Bolter Droid, so I had to get one of these sealed. I can't go wrong with that. Behind that, we have a couple, like, uh, play sets. So we have a bunch of, like, the uh, smaller box as our speeder bike, uh, Resistance X-Wing. As you can see there, I have a bunch of Thor Love and Thunder sets. Got one back here along with a Mando, or um, Mandalorian Duel on Mandalore. Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter. I uh, got one of those Five First Battle Packs sealed. The uh, Nebulon B Frigate in here. Very, very nice set. Um, Octo Island Training. I just got, a, like, a bunch of sets in here uh, that are, like, pretty good. Um, Obi-Wan's Hut, you know, as you can see there, you can just look through them all, Mandalorian Forge, uh, it's just like a bunch. On the right here, we have a bunch of, like, the $50 kind of sets, I'll actually move the camera over here a bit so you can see this more, but we got the 1966, uh, 16, yeah, 66 Batmobile, we also have a bunch of helmets, so, like, this is including, like, Batman, Star Wars, like, everything you think of, I don't know specifically what's here, but I know there's a Stormtrooper, um, some of the more rare ones. We also have two of the Buzz Lightyear sets that I got for like 60% off. Um, we got some cool uh, Clone Wars stuff from 2013 there. Stupid transport pod. Wish I'd never bought that. We also have the 2016 Homing Spider Droid. The uh, That is from the Star Wars Resistance TV show. That is the Black Ace TIE Interceptor, two AATs, and then we got some more helmets. But basically here, it's just like um, every helmet you can get, I have sealed. Then we move down to the bottom. So I'm gonna just gonna stand behind the camera because that's like a bit easier to do with the bottom. Uh, we have the Bad Batch shuttle. We have the Avengers Tower, the 2012 TIE Fighter, uh, the Imperial Shuttle TIE Dierum, the OG one, that one's awesome. Uh, the Han Solo TIE Fighter, Jedi Starfighter with hyperdrive ring. That is gonna be the Imperial Shuttle from 2021, I believe that is. The Final Duel, Death Star Final Duel 2 TIE, uh, inner, or what is that, First Order TIE, Whatever they're called, the Dorito TIE Fighter. Y'all know what that is. More of like the $50 sets. So we have a Hoth ATST there. Um, two Super Mario sets that are on clearance. Uh, same with these Ninjago things. You can find all these in past videos. Uh, these are all like recent video, uh, recent stuff. Just position the camera again. We also have the um, the Dodge Challenger SRT versus 2018, whatever. 
Speed Champion set. We have a bunch of these Infinity War sets. This is the Endgame Sanctuary 2. Uh, we have a, um, a Marauder Mandal. I don't even know what it's called now, but you know what it is. The Batman Batmobile. And we have a bunch of these smaller sets. Now, I'll go freehand to show you guys that, but we're just going to focus on the bottom for now. So just looking at the bottom here, we had a Grievous General, uh, General Grievous Starfighter from 2020. We had the Seinfeld set, the ISS. We also have the uh, First Order, um, the set that was not in the Heavy Scout Walker. That's what it's called. It was not actually in the movie. We got the 2012 Anakin's Jedi Interceptor, three Mando Starfighters. Um, we also have the uh, Final Duel with Snoke. I don't even know what that's called now. We have an ATST Raider. We also have two Grogu's there. Um, we also have a B-Wing, um, ATDP, that stupid Hoth action battle set I bought, uh, the Y-Wing, and Dio. And then we're going to go freehand to show you guys some of these other sets I have in the mix. So uh, there's a lot of random stuff in here. So we got like a 20th anniversary battle pack. Um, we also have the Corporate Alliance tank droid from 2013. Some speed champion stuff, some brickheads, gift with purchases, battle on Sally Kumai, uh, the Amperu gift with purchase. Ray Speeder, another Speed Champions, uh, Django, and a Death Trooper Brickhead. Then as we get on the bottom, we also have some more stuff. So we have the 2018 Mazda de Candina there, the Snow Speeder from the First Order, uh, the Ewok Attack there, the ATST from Ro uh, Rogue One. Uh, we have the original 2002 Anakin's Jedi Custom Jedi Starfighter, and we also have the set from uh, Rise of Skywalker. And last but not least, as we move over to the left here, I don't know why these are on the slant, but we have the First Order ATST. Uh, we also have the original, or wait, no, sorry, that is a Lego City set. That is my bad. Um, yeah, but you guys see that Lego City set there. We also got the 7929 Battle of Naboo, and we also have the Mulox Land Speeder in there. So that there pretty much concludes like this shelf. Uh, we're gonna get over into this little table here. It's just like a little side table I have for the setup because it looks a cooler. I almost need another one of these shelves over here. So I might do that in the future, but that's there for now. So let's get into it. Okay, so right off the bat, if you've been watching my channel lately, you know I've got a nice few clearance deals. So I have three of these uh, guys, the Conor, Con, Conortor, or whatever it's called, the Dinosaur Escape. Um, we also got the T-Rex Breakup, but we got two of those. We have got four of the uh, Death Star Trash Compactor. Actually, I have five of them. Just got one to build, four here sealed. Probably best to go freehand for the rest of this. So we have two of the back caves. I got those on clearance. Recently got a stunt truck for 60% off on clearance. Um, the damaged uh, Spider-Man layer, whatever. We also have Avengers Endgame uh, Battle. Really cool set. Wish I could have got more of those on clearance. Uh, we have a couple more Speed Champion stuff there. Uh, we have a Harry Potter uh, Hogsmeade Village back there. Some video sets I regret buying. Some Super Mario stuff. Uh, the Disney, like little three of those. Um, this Beach Lifeguard Station. We also have a TIE Fighter Wonder Woman 84 set there. And the Death or Star Destroyer in there. The UCS Star Destroyer. That concludes one part of my seal collection for investment. Um, majority of these are for investment. Like I'm not building any of these here. Um, some of them, you know, I'm like give to someone or something like that. But uh, the rest of what I'm about to show you is currently sealed. Some of it is for investment, some of it is for build, but I thought it'd be cool to show either way, so let's go do that. Okay, so forgive me because the lighting is not so good in here, but we have a pile more of uh, sets in here to show you. Um, a lot of these up here are just to build, but some of them are to keep sealed too. So without further ado, let's show you that. Right off the bat up here, we have the R2 um, that will actually be built. Um, and there's just like a bunch of stuff in behind there. So we got six of these Stormtrooper Battle Packs, which I actually plan um, filling up my ad at with my UCS ad at. We got three of the Death Star, or the Dark Trooper Attacks. We got a General Grievous uh, buildable figure in there. We have two of the 501st Clone Trooper Battle Packs, Hot the ADST, another Imperial Tide Fighter up there. We have a Tusken Raider Brickhead, um, the Speed Champions GTR, which of course I plan on building. Death Star Trenchron, the uh, Sanctum Sanctorum, so excited to build that at some point. Uh, we also have another Dwarf Mandalore, which is, I don't know why this out there. Um, that's going to go back in their other room. A TIE Bomber, and we also have a Scout Trooper and Speeder Bike. Alright, and I zoomed in a bit just to show you guys this a bit better. So we have a Yoda. Um, we also have a, like, a bunch of sets back here. Uh, we have an X-Wing Starfighter from the 2018 one. Uh, apparently there's a UCS version of that coming out, so um, this one might be a good time to sell. We also have a Pose X Wing Starfighter back there. So we got the three in one adventure pack here. Um, I hope my head's not in the way. We also got the Death Star Duel from 2015, the Imperial Conveyor X Train. We got the 2014 Mazda's Cantina, 
the Raptar Escape. So a 2012 X-Wing and the Boost Droid Commander set back there. Um, I know you brought, probably can't see it there, but it's in the dark shadow. Okay, and last but not least, uh, in this room, we have this pile of stuff. Now, this is a bit harder to show you all, because um, it's just like, I have it so randomly thrown about because I have no room for it. Um, we got like brickheads back here. We got the, um, the Fan Expo. Yeah, I don't know why I have this laid in here. Like, I should have this laid somewhere else. But the Tatooine Mini Build, the Fan Expo. We have a bunch of art sets back here. Um, just like random stuff, battle packs. Um, I think they're all battle packs. Yeah, battle packs in there. There's also like gift for purchases, like this Halloween owl gift for purchase, brick sketches, brick heads. Um, actually, I have two of these, so there's another one back here. Um, the UCS B Wing. I have, oh yeah, I forgot to cover underneath my table out there, so I will do that too. We also have um, four more of these with uh, some Infinity Saga sets. I actually have more of these somewhere else. I don't know where to. And then to show you guys in here, um, this is a little hard, but we have the Rise of the Domo Eternal set in here. Uh, like I said, they have the other uh, Infinity Saga set. We have, I think, like 10 or 11 advent calendars for me to sell next year. Um, the ATST from 20, 2007, the original Maz Isley Cantina from 2004, 2006 A Wing, 2005 um, Droid Tri Fighter, and then last but not least on top, we have the 2010 B Wing, 2011, sorry. So, as I take these boxes in here, um, there is some stuff that I bought recently on Black Friday. Uh, so, we have two of these friend sets. We have three. Actually, I thought I had more of these. Anyway, we have three of these Sonic um, sets. I got them for 50% off. Great little pickup. I believe we have 12 of the Clone Command Station. Hopefully, I can get more of them, but they're pretty much sold out everywhere you look to get them now. And last but not least, in this beat-up box, I have the new 9th Anniversary uh, Galaxy Explorer, along with a Super Mario um, Ren Renzor knockdown set. Um, Y'all yeah, probably have seen that before. And even, even after that, there is still one more thing I want to show you guys. And, uh, well, it's not one thing. It's a bunch of things, but it's in my closet. So as you take a look at my closet, I actually have four tubs of Lego here. So these are all, like, random things. I'll probably just show you guys this on the floor because that is the easiest. Um, like, I have everything in here just clear stuff. Like, I've got uh, Wakanda flyers that I got on clearance. Um, a bunch of, like, Super Mario City stuff. Um, friend stuff. Everything. And as you after open one tub after another, it just comes a mystery as to what's in there. Because I just have more and more stuff. Um, like, the Iron Man Hall of Armor we got here. Uh, Fox. Black Panther. Uh, Mech Armor. We have, like... Oh, I have another friend set in here. So I didn't know I had that in there, but uh, we have two of the white houses in here. And, um, you know, just like a bunch of random stuff. It's to the point now where I don't even know half the stuff I have in here, which is kind of a bad thing. But, uh, yeah, like Wildlife Rescue. There's the other white house that I have. Um, we have, like, I guess we have two of the in Airsham Shadows. Uh, we also have some 3-in-1 uh, townhouse store shops in there. We also have, like, a bunch of these Super Mario packs that I was picking up for, like, three bucks each. Um, we also have another Iron Man Hall of Armor in there. Uh, like I said, some more of those and some Disney stuff. And last but not least, in my final top here, uh, we have some Speed Champion stuff. Um, just some Dodge Charger sets, whatever. Uh, some Ninjago sets. Some more of these Wildlife Rescue. They're really good price. We also got some Ninjago stuff that I've been cleaning out recently. And last but not least, a uh, Harry Potter 4 Pivot Drive that I have for like 50% off not long ago. So everyone, uh, that sums up the video. I do want to talk about my collection a bit and everything. So like, obviously a lot of this was bought on clearance. Um, I actually get a lot of questions recently, like how do I afford all this? So stay tuned for that. I'm actually gonna make a video on that. Uh, should be within the next couple weeks. I've also realized that I need another shelf here. Uh, just like looking at all the stuff I have. Like I have 600 sets in my collection, but you know, looking at this, you don't think it, but um, you know, I kind of need the space. I think I'm gonna buy another one of these shelves just to put in the corner there and just hold it for storage because uh, a lot of these sets I'm starting to run out of room on. I just have them like thrown everywhere. So it really would not hurt to get the extra space. Another thing I do wanna say too, is if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Um, 
Recently, I've been gaining a lot of traction on the channel, and with that comes a lot of questions about how I afford this stuff, what I do to afford this stuff, um, where do I get all my Legos, how am I able to keep this much stuff, all that. Let me know it in the comments below. If you did enjoy the video too, make sure to hit that like button. I'm subscribing to my channel. This is currently my investment portfolio collection, whatever you want to call it, my sealed set collection, as of February 2023, uh, which is kind of crazy to say. Currently, like 600 sets. I plan on selling a lot of this uh, come the fall when Christmas time comes around. It's a great time to sell some sets. So I plan on selling a lot of this during that time. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep buying up clearance, uh, selling as I go if I want to sell some stuff when a show or something comes out. But that is my collection as of now. So like I said, if you did enjoy, hit that like button. Um, subscribing to the channel also helps. And I hope you all enjoyed. Catch you in the next one.